Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today will be a scary story time of recent events and past events. <clears throat> well, I'm going to do the past events first and then the recent. Okay, past events was when I was living with my mother-in-law and I was 21. Yeah, 21 because I was pregnant and I was going to give birth to twins. So. Um, that was two years ago. Two years ago, no. A year and a half, I'm sorry, because my son is one and a half. Um, a year and a half ago, I used to live with my mother-in-law. And with my, with my boyfriend, my baby dad. And one day, I woke up, and I just sat on the sofa with my mother-in-law and my two sister-in-laws. And in the corner of my eye, I saw my sister-in-law's dad. So I'm like, um, beautiful, is your dad up? And she goes, no. And then I'm like, yes, she, yes he is. He goes, no, he's not up. And I looked at her, I'm like, I just sworn I heard him, I just saw him. I go in the kitchen, there's nobody there. And I'm like okay, what's going on here? Is he playing tricks? Did he go in the bathroom? Nobody was up. It was just us. My mother-in-law and my two sister-in-laws. And me. And my boyfriend went in at work. Was at work. So, another one was when um, I got up at 6 o'clock because I made my boyfriend lunch. And it was a weekday. It was a weekday. It was, I think, on Wednesday. And all of a sudden, on the other corner of my eye, I saw somebody run past me. And I thought it was my sister-in-law. And I was like, beautiful. What, what are you doing up? It's too early. And I go in the closet, because that's where I saw it run. Go in the closet. There was nobody there. When she woke up, I asked her if she got up. She was like, no, I just got up. I was like, you sure you were not playing some playing tricks on me? Because she had a, like, a blanket, white blanket over her. And I asked her, you had a white blanket over you? She was like, no, I just woke up. What do you mean? I was like, I swore I saw you run to the closet. She was like, no, I didn't. I was like, wow, like... I have my glasses on and everything. I don't have my glasses on now. I know my son broke them, but it's okay. It was just weird. It was just... And other days we heard stuff, we saw stuff, but we pay no mind away. Um, the recent events... <laughs> I'm scared to even talk about it because it scares me. Recent events. This started, what, two two, three months ago, not even, long past that, but I was just too recent, two months ago, I have a friend that I have found on an app called Live Video, but anyways, that's not about it, um, I met her on Live Video, and, um, she... One day, she, um, she told me, don't get freaked out. I said, why? Because I always send her pictures of my son and me together. And she never told me until, I think, a month ago, a month and a half ago. And she goes, don't get scared. And I'm like, wow, what happened? She goes, there's somebody next to you. And I'm like, what do you mean? She's like, there's a lady next to you. And two ladies and one man. And I'm like, what do you mean? She goes, yeah. But other than that, there's an evil spirit in your house. <sighs> Once I heard that, I was scared for my life. Scared for my son, scared for myself, scared for my boyfriend. <sighs> I had chills on my spine. 
and ever since that there has been altercations with my son my son will even before all this happened my son will wake up in the middle of the night and play at three o'clock four o'clock in the morning while i'm laying down and my boyfriend's laying down he will get up and play and i'll say kyle get up on the bed and go to sleep love he goes no look I look, there's nobody there. He would just stay there, stay there, and stay there, just playing with somebody, laughing. And all of a sudden, my friend told me this. And I didn't have no idea what was going on. My son, everybody says kids see things. I know that kids see things, but I don't know what they're seeing. <laughs> so, when she told me that, she told me that my my birth mother, my grandmother, and my father are here with me. And I was like, don't play jokes on me. And she goes, no. What is it? And she goes, there's an evil spirit. And I, when she told me that I had goosebumps all over my body, I was scared. And I just kept on taking pictures. And my son goes, look baby and i'm like baby what do you mean baby so i write her and i take a picture of my son on the floor he was playing with a charger a square charger and going like this to it sliding it on the floor so i'm like what's going on so i text her i said what's going on here she goes there's a little boy in that room with plane trains. <sighs> plane trains. And he's from the 1900s. She showed me a pic and I saw that I got goosebumps. Ever since then, he's just, look, look, baby, baby hasn't done it in a couple of days but he points at times so that time I I got up I had to talk to her and she told me there's a little boy I I video timed her FaceTime I'm sorry and she told me there's a little boy in this house she doesn't know that he if he could turn or not but there's a little boy he's been playing with and so I, so she goes, turn the camera to the baby, to my son. So I do, and she goes, Nene, where's the baby with the choo choo? He points to the sofa right next to me. He goes there. I get freaked out. There was no point, like, I was freaked out. I just didn't want to believe it, but I had to. Because there was no reason not to believe that because my son was just on the floor playing with something like a train. So, ever since then, he'd been playing on the floor, and I just sent her pictures once in a while. And recent, I snapped a photo because my son was up at three, three, I don't remember the time, but he was up late and he was not going to bed for no reason. So I snapped the photo, I said, tell me what's going on. And she goes, there's a demon in your house. There's a demon in your house. That's what he's playing with. I took a video, okay, a video of him playing, but she said I didn't have to play the video. I already seen it. Once I heard that, I got my son, I put him to sleep. And the next day, I told my boyfriend. The next day, when we, he got home, 
I bought a whole bunch of stuff, candles, everything, to the to bless this house and get everything out. But I guess that's not enough. But ever since then, my son plays around and stuff. But I guess it's with my mother, my father, my grandmother. So that's pretty much it. If you like this story time give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't like share comment below what would you like to see next okay thank you and enjoy and until next